I'm not talking about moving in and I don't want to change your style but there's a cool wind blowing welcome to GQ Light www.gqexecutivelifestyles.com hello my name is Diane Peterson I am the author of Bosom Tight well if you like Alfred Hitchcock and Sherlock Holmes. You will love this extraordinary book called Bosom Time. From the diary of an entrapped MD, I bring you the book Bosom Tide, a forward, a brilliant time version piece of work. Many days have passed and scores of studies have been done on mine. But one study is the study on bosom tight. It is one of the worst days of inspection of time and brain coercion with liaison work I have ever noticed of a man too long ago lived. But to be alive in mind and in spirit, but still is not real to society yet. It is only a phantasm to many folk. Before myself and others, it is too many days of hard work and living through horror of minds that obey them all. I present for your conquest, as the world has never known before, bosom tight. Now I want to read to you a page from bosom tight. He laid down next to Julia Eves and thought for a moment, I love you, Julia. He whispered kind, loving things to her and made love to her. Meanwhile, the lady laid a trap for Lonnie bosom time and worked alone. Then next night, Julia Eves didn't suspect anything. Lonnie had been so very pleasant to her she couldn't want for anything more but his love. The lady cop, however, took the time to inform another cop of Lonnie, bosom tight strange behavior. The male cop positioned himself exactly in the same place where another bum hung out and took a terrible beating from Lonnie bosom tight the night before. The cop had a cashier's check on him for Forty-two thousand dollars. It was not cashed. It was about two o'clock a.m. The next morning, when Lonnie Bosom Tight peeped around the corner, as a sniffing rat would do in his rat pattern suit, and slowly walked up to a man who was still a bum. The bum stench was hard to take. He urinated on himself. He was sitting on the ground. He appeared to be drunk. Alcohol was spilled heavily on his clothes. Get up and fix me a drink, said Lonnie bosom tight to the bum and didn't know he was a disguised cop. Now sneering in the cop's face with a hand sewn snout he wore. Lonnie bosom tight picked the bum up by the collar and threw him against the brick layered alley wall way down the street from the office where he worked. He snatched a check out of his pocket. It hadn't been signed. Lonnie bosom tight let the bum go and ran with the check. The check was lined with fingerprinting exponent materials for catching an ID on a person. The next day, Lonnie bosom tight was showered and dressed as a fine gentleman in a business suit and went to the bank to deposit the check in his account. The camera printed out his fingerprint, which locked him into a detailed lineup. It linked him to a man who was cruelly beaten with rat pattern hairs on him. Unfortunately, 
eight other cases like that showed up. The fingerprint was sent to an understudy lab of investigational unit of a police laboratory. This went on for a whole month. Then one day a lab technician examined the internal parts of the rat's hairs and determined the rat was on cocaine. The rat was fed and warmed and cared for. The team of investigators searched high and low for rats who were being fed cocaine. I invite you to pick up this wonderful novel full of mystery and suspense and danger. You won't regret it. Enjoy. And please do remember to reach GQ Life. That's www.gqexecutivelifestyles. Our logo is GQ Life. And do examine our content. You'll just love what you have encountered. And you have a good night. I'm Diane Peterson saying, take care. I'm looking forward to being with you again.